Hello and welcome, my beautiful friends. How you doing today? Uh, today we're going to go for a beautiful, fantastic, uh, hopefully fantastic, uh, Musketeer Spam is what I'm going to try and do for you guys. Uh, I might do a, a Cav Mix eventually, uh, but I'm going to try and stay in H2 for the most of this game, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and end it in H2. Uh, he's obviously allowed to go to H3. If it pushes me that way, I will go for it, but I'm hoping I don't have to. Um, I'm going to I'm going to try to out eco a Brit player while, while keeping him at bay, not necessarily um, actually doing anything too freaking ridiculous here. So uh, I'm kind of weirded out by oh, there's the animals I was supposed to go. I think. All right, so we got that going for us. We. Oh. My Grove Rickshaw could die. I did not know that. Alright. Let's build it. No! My Grove Rickshaw! Why would they do that to me? Why? Alright, we get our 50 coin. Uh, we got 200 uh, wood here, but that's still not enough, my friends. We need more wood. More wood is what I need. Nope, I got 40 wood right here, dude. What am I doing? 40 wood right freaking here, dude. We got all the wood we need in the world. Alright, things are looking pretty good for us. Uh, did I not build any more vehicles? What the heck am I doing, man? We're gonna go for a market and a house. And... Okay. I'll take some ore veins, man. Chasseur. Hardcore, we like to get the hunting dogs. I'm a big hunting dog fan. Alright, watch this. Maybe not watch this. I'm, I'm, I don't want him to take my freaking treasure, dude. Yeah, he's trying to take it. Can you get my survey? Oh, I got the geological survey, baby! Woohoo! I got it! How does that make you guys feel? You guys pumped for my geological survey? I'm pumped. Alright, what else we got in here? We got some coin. Got some other crap in here. Ooh, look at that. Some 80 wood. Oh, I take that, man. I love wood. I'm a big wood fan. I need wood. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go for a uh, thirteen villager age. Uh, <laughs> you know nothing of hard life. <laughs> At least this guy's having fun. Uh, you know, let's go fourteen. Let's go for a fourteen oui, oui. village. I'm cool with it. Votre bien. Oui, très bien. Hopefully, we got enough. Uh, health to take down a lion. I don't even know. Alright, this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go for this wood thing early. Check this out. It's a fancy pants play right here, alright? We're going to go for the wood thing early. Before we age. I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to say screw it. Hopefully these guys can win. Get that 400 wood, though. We're going to have it just in time here. Now we can switch these guys onto wood, and we're just going to start getting some extra crap out of this stuff. I'm going to start uh, grabbing some furs. Got one down here, one over here, looking pretty good. I'm really hoping I can take this guy down. I don't know, dude. It's going to be very close. You know what? I'm better off waiting. I don't think I can do it. I'll wait for my next shot. Okay. Uh... Hopefully he doesn't come take it, though. That's what I'm worried about. Alright, so we got this guy. He needs to come back to me. We got to keep scouting. Let's check this guy. He's a Brits, right? So again, out eco week a Brits player is very difficult to do. Um, Very difficult to do. You gotta focus on food. A tiny bit of extra coin here. I think what we need to do is actually get 125 coin, if at all possible. And 125 wood. We want to play it exactly perfect here. Alright, exactly freaking perfect. 
Uh, this map does not have that much food, though, so we might be pushing pretty early. But I do want to go for a front base. I don't want to go for a hardcore front base, but I do want to go for a front base. Let's take this guy up in here. And uh, he is going to age up slow. Oh, he doesn't seem like that great of a player. I don't know. Um, if, he, if he isn't that great of a player, that's okay. We're going to just kind of show off for ourselves here. Again, outgoing the Brits player is difficult to do, but you can totally do it, especially if they're not like, an amazing player or anything. So here we go. Here's my front base. You almost always want to build a front base unless you're going for a uh, full-on turtle here. So here we go. What we got going on in here? I don't know. It's not really hurting or anything. Yeah, he, I think he's a bit of a noob kickish player. That's okay. That. Build two houses with the perfect amount of resources, baby. Perfect amount of resources. That's what you like to see. A little slow on the house building, though. But, uh... Right away, we can build our five musketeers, just like that. He does age up a little slow. He's, yeah, he's, he's a bit of a new cake. That's okay. Um, we're going to kind of show off and just show you guys how many musketeers we can actually get in a game uh, using this strategy. I think that's the most impressive thing about everything. Five. Keep up with the villagers. Don't stop with the villagers. Ever, 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 ever. And what you can do is, at least the way I like to do it, is I like to try and keep uh, all my guys that are coming out um, of the uh, town center, going straight to coin. Everybody else, I kind of manage them around, so I have the least amount of resources possible. That's the goal, realistically. And by the way, people uh, often ask me, like, how do you build five units at once? You hold down shift, and you press the button. So here we go. Now we're going to go over 700 wood. Uh, this is really where uh, things are going to sort of take off for us. He does have an outpost. Uh, that's not a bad play, man. He must have aged with 200 coin and an outpost. Uh, kind of makes sense. It's going to kind of thwart our rush here. But it's not really about a rush. We're actually doing a mass-produced musketeer play. That is the plan, actually. Keep on spamming them out non-stop if possible. Uh, once we get our 700 wood, you guys are going to see how everything's going to sort of come together. We get our four villagers, we get the resources flowing into our pocket here. And then after that... We use our wood, because wood's one of the slowest gathering resources, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but it's a slow gathering resource. So what you want to do is you want to try to gather it as crates, if at all possible. This is actually going to be pretty well here. Build another house. I'm going to do another barracks pretty soon in here. We want all of our wood to go into houses, a barracks, a little bit of uh, re extra resource production if possible. We got ready to get our barracks, second barracks up in here for our musketeer spam. You can tell he's not a bad player by any means, but um, uh, I, I would say that I know that I'm going to win this game. Uh, the, the chances are very low that I'm going to lose. Very, very low. Alright. So, uh, at this point, I'm actually going to try and gather 200 wood. Because I want to go for two more houses. Alright, let's try and even these guys up. Just because I like to, more than anything. And we're going to go for uh, this. Just kind of give everybody a little bit extra eco boost here. So now we're going to go for a 1, 2, 3... Four. At the very least, we're spamming that many guys out. We're going to get this guy going as well to get our extra coin production. Full economy at this point. I've got seven people on wood, which is not what I want, but now we've got it. Now everything is going to be gathering faster, guys. Like, economy-wise, doing fantastic. Oh, I kind of forgot about a villager here. All right, and then we're going to finish off five. Now we're mass-producing ten musketeers pretty much every time that we can. That is crazy, and we're about to get that 10% boost here, too. So now, if he's got a longbow army, that's probably the only way that I can see him actually defending what I've got right now. Only way. Yes, it's possible, but it's going to be dead. Okay, we're getting a little bit too much coin. We're kind of running out of food. So, three. Ooh, yeah, we're finally hitting our limit here. Eight musketeers. But we're running out of pop room as well. So before ten minutes, nine minutes, we've got 43 musketeers. Before ten minutes, we're going to have easily 50 musketeers here, guys. Woo. All right, let's go for that rush. 
Uh, I don't want to wait, squander my pop room. So, uh, instead of spending much more money on wood, I'm going to destroy my musketeers in the essence of keeping this stuff flowing. Alright. So, this, again, should be a pretty easy game for us. Uh, I don't know how we can lose. It's hard to uh, defend against a 50 musketeer rush at 9 minutes. This guy's not bad. Uh, just we played it very, very well. Um... And you can kind of just keep them flowing as you want, you know? Keep the rush up. You guys finishing off his minute, man. He should GG here in just a second, I think. Uh, because this is just a lot of units. Uh, when our set, our next set of coin gets here, uh, uh, or wood gets here, we can start to build uh, a cavalry if we want to. But this should be a pretty easy takedown on this town center here. Oh, we're still pop room, man. That's the crazy part. We're still pop room, even after all of this. His villagers are currently attacking us, and his town center is about to go down. Uh, 37 musketeers at his town center. Um, and that's an 11 minute game for us right there. All right, you could tell we definitely were a better player than him. Uh, it's just a great kind of just example, I guess, of just showing what's possible. Yeah, uh, we farmed hard, we got a good economy, and we just kept the pump. Keep the pump up. Once you get that second set of uh, uh, barracks over there, you can just pump out 10 every, what, 20, 30 seconds, man? It's a lot of musketeers. Very quickly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.